What's up YouTube, this is Aurorus from Aurorus Gaming, and I am here with a Feed the Beast tutorial. Uh, on this episode, we are going to look at how to get to the nether without diamonds. So that means no diamond pick to get to the nether with, to break, you know, no diamond pick to get the obsidian to get to building your portal. It's actually really easy. Um, right now for this tutorial, I am going to cheat the things you are that you need in. So uh, don't get all hating because I'm cheating. But uh, it's very basic, very basic to build in game. Um, here's one, just for uh, demonstration purposes. I am using a texture pack, so it might look slightly different in your game. But um, we're just gonna take a good old look at this. Um, I already have it here. And I'm going to switch it to recipe mode. Oh, wrong one. Wrong way. So we can take a look at the recipe. Alright, um, so it's very basic design. Um, two tin ingots on the sides. Two pieces of glass. So that's very easy. Then your basic piston. So that takes some iron, some redstone, and some wood, and some cobblestone. Very easy. Uh, the machine box is very easy too because it's just four glass, it's just four glass, and then uh, a piece of gold and some four iron around the sides. Very basic. And then this one's not much harder. It's just two glasses, pieces of iron, and some cobblestone. So you can basically build this as soon as you go into, you know, you get your hidey hole, you know, dig down the bedrock or something because that's the best way to start this you get down to bedrock and you start mining right away I mean after you punch down enough trees to get the wood build yourself a, a, a bedrock layer a little base just start out because you'll get a tons of you get tons of iron and tons of resources right off the bat so uh, basically this is really simple to build so as soon as you gather the iron and redstone and the, the tin that is required, all you really need is a source of water and a source of lava. I mean, it takes buckets, so it's, it's not even hard to do. Well, let me just go get us um, those resources right now. Options. We're gonna cheat in this one second. We'll grab a lava. Simple bucket will be sufficient. All right, and then um, if you would want to make this more efficient, you would uh. Get yourself a uh, a pipe and a pump it in, but just for this demonstration purposes, we are not going to do that. Oh, switch it to obsidian. Take your bucket out. One piece of obsidian, and then you just do that over and over. And you'll have yourself another gate. And then you ask, why do you do this? Why would you want to go to the nether right off the back? Well, that is because you would want to build the easiest form of energy is thermal, geothermal. Besides coal, obviously that's very easy, but it's very inefficient. So you take your geothermal generator connected with a magma crucible and some magma engines which I will do a tutorial on later and that produces EU through the geothermal or the geothermal generator that's a very very beginning game form of energy it's much much simpler than using uh, uh, solar panels and water mills. If this works for grade tech or non grade tech players. Um, the recipes are very simple, very easy to get. So if this helped you at all, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Peace.